Ever since they came out, we've had quite a few Broncos here in the studio. When they first started hitting, Bob Ruth Ford was nice enough to bring their wild track Bronco down. And since then, we've had a Badland Sasquatch here. We've also had an Outer Banks we did a full Bronco R-Series conversion on. This one behind me, though, is going to be our long-term project vehicle. And it's the first one that's actually going to be a company vehicle that we can do pretty much whatever we want to. The cool thing about this one, this is a base model. So if you're wondering what you actually get if you order a base model Bronco, well, let's take a closer look. So if you go on Ford's Build a Bronco website and you click on absolutely nothing besides two-door, this is what you're gonna get. This is the $29,300 zero option Bronco. Now, to be honest, we ordered this one, we actually ordered it in 2021. First day the order banks open, and we ordered it as a 2021 in Rapid Red. Well, since then, Ford had the hard top issues and all two doors are gonna be hard tops, so it got bumped to 2022. When it happened, Rapid Red actually got discontinued and it defaulted to black. So we said, you know what, just leave it. Give us the absolute base model version. And this is basically what you're gonna get. It's a seven speed manual, 2.3 liter, and again, steel wheels, absolutely no options, but it's actually a really cool little Bronco to drive. We first got it, to me, this kind of looks more like your classic Bronco. This looks like something from the 60s, and with this build, we definitely have some retro things in mind, but again, let's give you a closer look at the Bronco itself. Even being a base model, the interior is actually still pretty nice. You have the cloth two-tone seats, you still have a decent size screen in the middle of the dash, and another one in the cluster, that you have no grab handle, there's no heated seats, you know, all your controls up on the top of the dash. There pretty much is none besides trash control and hazard. But again, if we're looking to build one from scratch, we felt that starting with the absolute base model being the least expensive Bronco would kind of be a cool build. There's a few things we wish it had. You know, we wish it had lockers from the factory. It'd be nice to have some of that other stuff. But again, that's all things that we can add for the aftermarket if we choose to. But again, just starting from scratch, the interior is a pretty nice place to work. And like I said, with the base model under the hood, you get the 2.3 liter turbo four EcoBoost engine. We've used this engine before. It comes in the Mustang and the Ranger. They use the 2.3 all over the place. You know, it's a great engine. And with the two door, it's not as heavy as the four door. And with the seven speed manual, it's actually pretty fun to drive. Now on the outside, I really do feel that the base model Bronco really captures the styling of this early 60s Bronco. I love the matte grille, I love the steel wheels. You still get decent fender flares, you get all the factory mounting locations for the accessories. And again, it's a nice looking vehicle on the outside. It carries the theme of the Bronco, it carries a heritage well, and it really feels like a classic Bronco. Now, even being a base model, our Bronco is pretty well equipped, and this thing would make a great daily driver as it is. I mean, I've been driving this for about the last week, seeing about 20 miles per gallon. The seven-speed manual makes it kind of fun to drive, and the seven-speed is gonna be your normal six-speed transmission, but when you use the lockout to get it in reverse, you have a second option for C, which is kind of like a crawling gear. But again, it's a nice vehicle to drive around. Obviously, we're not gonna leave it this way, though. We have a lot of plans for this Bronco. We're gonna do bumpers, we're gonna lift it. Again, we've got a lot of plans for it. We definitely wanna go with kind of a retro vibe, but also do a lot of modern touches with it. You know, the only thing we don't have is a name. So if you guys have any ideas of what we should name our new project, you know, let us know in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe for more content on our 2022 Bronco.